oh, awkward silence at the start of a video. <laughs> I didn't quite realise it had started there. Um, so what I want to talk to you about today is uh, is the, the, the headline, um, Thoughts Are Not Facts, okay? And this might seem like a really obvious thing, but it's actually really, really important. And it's another one of the things that's making you really unhappy on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, most of us, if you tune into your internal voice, most of us are not talking to ourselves um, very nicely. If you were to take the way that you are talking to yourself um, and sort of translate that into how you talk to other people, you would find that day-to-day -day life is much, uh, much less pleasant in your interactions with other people. So don't get me wrong, I think some people um, talk to... So some people just talk to people however they want to. I think that's a small percentage. Like some people are just wired that way. Most people, you know, we generally have that kind of social nicety part of ourselves where we, uh, you know, we recognise the need to speak to people in, in a certain way most of the time. But one of the things that makes people really unhappy on a day-to-day -day basis is how they are thinking. And it's one of the fundamental concepts of things like, you know, therapies like CBT and stuff is that your, you know, how you think affects the way you feel. Um, and, you know, this kind of goes in a, in a bit of a cycle, essentially. And the worse you feel, the worse you think. And then, you know, and round and round and round on the, on the merry-go-round of misery. Um... And this, is, this has been an interesting thing to explore as our children grow up a little bit, so particularly with our seven-year-old who's, you know, navigating primary school at the moment and navigating a neurodiverse brain. And it's been fascinating getting an insight into how his mind is working and some of the thoughts that he's having. And, you know, he started saying things to himself like, you know, I'm so stupid and um, that's dumb and why do I keep doing this? And, you know, we've kind of been pricking our ears up at this and kind of going, hmm, that's not OK. You know, you don't want to be getting into the habit at the age of seven years old of being that hard on yourself, essentially. So we do. We try and nip it in the in the bud and say to him, you know, that's not an OK way to talk to yourself. Like you wouldn't talk to someone else like that, would you? Um, you know, and that's certainly, you know, hammering the manners that I've talked about before. Um, and, and to your children, you certainly wouldn't like to think that your children are talking to other people like that. Um, but I certainly don't want him to grow up talking to himself like that. Um, but that is, you know, that's a really good representation of how a lot of us do talk to each other. You know, um, I'm such, a, you know, I'm such an idiot. I'm so stupid. I'm such a, you know, um, insert sweary word here. Um, so what we need to remember is, I mean, I always find it helpful to have a little, you know, quick reference sentence or mantra to come back to when I'm feeling a bit like that. So you know, and it can be as straightforward as thoughts are not facts. And I was listening to um, an audiobook recently, and I think there was a really good phrase from that that really helped me. Um, and it and it was, uh, well, it wasn't really a phrase, it was more of a kind of concept that, you know, think of your the thoughts that you're having um, as your brain testing um, a hypothesis about what's going on in the world around it. Okay, so your brain, you can think of your brain as a bit of a scientist. So what do scientists do when they're in the lab? They're trying to solve problems. They solve problems by coming up with theories about what might be going on, you know, and that's their hypothesis. You know, my hypothesis is that this is what's going on, and then they will design an experiment to test that. That's essentially what your brain is doing. Your brain is thinking things in order to test its hypothesis about what's going on around it. So it doesn't necessarily mean um, that it's right. So this is you know, when we say that your thoughts are not facts. Um, we have no way of knowing whether your brain is right or not. Okay, so you just need to always approach your thoughts from that point of view as well. So actually, you know, if your first thought is, um, you know, I'm not a good person or I'm so I'm you know I'm really rubbish at this, and, you know, then actually we need to be kind of t you know taking a, a little pause and kind of going, well, hold on, um, how how right is that? Or you know, um, you know, it feeds into some of the other stuff I've talked about in these videos as well, you know, are you being too hard on yourself? There's a good chance you probably are. Are you measuring yourself by the right standards? So, you know, take me in my new job. Um, you know, I, I hadn't quite appreciated how hard I was on myself until I started training in this new job and was kind of put in a position where I was humbling myself on a daily basis by, um, you know, by sort of making 
mistakes that I didn't even know were mistakes, but I was giving myself a really hard time about it. So actually, you need to put that kind of in, you need to put that into perspective, and go well. Actually, you know, you haven't been doing the job for very long, so you know, my thoughts are not necessarily facts. I'm thinking I'm really rubbish at this job, um. But actually, you know, if I benchmark myself in the right way, i.e., against someone who's been doing the job for less than two months, I'm pretty much exactly where I need to be. And that's a difficult thing to rationalise, you know, when you're used to being really comfortable in something. But it is a, a useful illustration of my thought is you are really rubbish at this job. Um, and actually, that's that's not necessarily factual. If I kind of take that and put it into the right perspective and context, I'm exactly where I need to be um, on my sort of learning journey. And you can apply that to, you know, to any thoughts that you might be having. Um, oh, I'm, you know, uh, I'm so stupid. Well, you know, actually, seven-year-old, you know, you're reading chapter books um, and you're probably reading-wise ahead of, mo you know, a lot of the kids in your class at school, you know, so that you know, that definitely doesn't make you, definitely doesn't make you stupid. Um, and, yeah, just kind of trying to, trying to kind of nip some of those habits in the bud, at, you know, at a young age. So yeah, just have a think about that because... You know, so some people are really are really attuned into their their thoughts. It can take a bit of time to kind of get used to 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 actually what's going on in the background in your brain. Um, some people don't even realise that that's the reason why they're you know feeling maybe a bit anxious or a bit down on a particular day. It's that actually there's all sorts of negative thoughts whizzing around in their head, which is affecting the way they're feeling, which is affecting the way they're thinking. So try and tune into that voice. It's a lot easier when you're doing like automatic things. Like I have a lot of automatic thoughts when I'm driving you know so when I'm kind of in a flow state when I'm driving that's when I'll, a lot of things will go on in the back in the background of my head and um, showering as well sometimes if I was out for a walk or out for a run so try and start to tune into um, that kind of internal chatter and see see what what it is and what it might be doing to you okay and just remember that your brain is a scientist it's testing a hypothesis it might be that once it tests that hypothesis that the hypothesis is wrong okay so what you are thinking is not necessarily the truth um let me know what you think of this let me know if this is something that resonates with you let me know how well tuned you are into your um, internal voice and i look forward to hearing from you